Welcome back everyone to Pontus Fathom Hobbies. This is our gameplay video for Dune Gale Force 9. It's Season 2, Episode 4. Uh, we're just going to jump right into Turn 4 here. We'll do a quick recap of Turn 3. Um, again, uh, you, as you guys know, Dune uh, Gale Force 9 is a multiplayer game, but I'm just kind of walking through a simplified version of it. Uh, really looking forward to the Dune movie this month, and I uh, thought we'd play through this as a as a way to uh, get get um, celebrating um, the release. Uh, I've been a long time Dune fan and we've got the Dune Revenant uh, fan fiction in hardcover, the 25th anniversary edition. This is um, from before the Dune sequels that were official. This goes back to the um, 25 year edition now. And in the early days of the internet, uh, fans were speculating on what Frank Herbert would have written in a Dune 7. And there were actually a number of Dune 7s. There was one, this one FAQ. Um, so uh, so the Dune uh, Revenant book has got the actual Dune Revenant uh, fan fiction, but then it has these appendices. Dune Revenant Internet Origins, Origins and Reactions, Notes and Drafts of Dune Revenant and Concept Art, uh, as well as introductions to the different editions but if you go back there used to be this thing called Usenet uh, and Frank Herbert's seventh Dune novel there was an FAQ called the Dune 7 FAQ and this was uh, written and rehosted by a number of people over the years but there were a number of uh, fanish uh, attempts at of finalizing the story and this is really where this was almost the breakdown for Dune 7 because the idea of the of, of this breakdown was before the sandworms of Dune and before um, uh, Hunters of Dune we had like the original six novels and this concept of Frank Herbert's notes and and, and this was a, tr a treatment of where Duncan and Shiana left off where Mirbella was left off uh, Daniel and Marty the master face dancers Shiana Duncan Idaho's Revelations, Skydel, The Golden Path. Um, and then there was a number of fan fictions out there. Dune Revenant was one of them. There was one called Dune Resurrection. There was um, Dune 7 Advent. I remember that one as well. I think I remember Dune Resurrection. I mean, this Dune Advent, I definitely remember reading. And then, of course, Dune Revenant is in this list, too. And then there's a number of... Uh, emails and exchanges of people commenting on Dune Revenant. So yeah, maybe check that out if you're interested. Uh, like or subscribe. Uh, we're also going to do, when we get the unboxings for the Dune Imperium miniatures, we'll probably do a paint through of those. So if you ring the bell, you can get notified to when those get released and, um, and you can come back and check us out. And if you subscribe, uh, you can go check out all of our other Dune comment, content. So thank you very much for uh, your viewing. So let's jump into turn four. Uh, we'll start out in the storm phase and I will uh, grab the storm card out here and it says uh, five storm sectors. Move the storm sector counterclockwise five. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, no forces were in any space here. So let's go right into the uh, spice flow and nexus phase. So spice flow, spice flow phase. We get to pull a spice card and uh, Shai Hulud again. So Shai Hulud uh, in Winds Pass North does not affect the uh, Fremen. So uh, uh, Fremen are not damaged by that. So and then they can also have an alliance. But since we're just playing one game, one solo game, we're just going to yeah, the Fremen can make an alliance with the Atreides, whatever can happen. But we'll move us into uh, Chom Charity, which no one can cry. We'll move into bidding phase and we just will simulate that by passing out a card here. And we'll get uh, the Thumper for the Fremen, Weather Control for the Atreides. And the trip to Gamont, worthless card for the 
uh, for the uh, trade. So that was Harkonnen got the weather control. And we can advance into um, revival phase. So Atreides and Harkonnens can revive. Um, Atreides is really down on spice and they are not doing so well. But we get into shipping and movement phase. Harkonnens will take the advantage that they have with these four troops and they will uh, pay to have these troops uh, shipped into Ben Yasiech. Uh, so they are still beam them in. And oh, we had we sorry, we had to get the other spice blow out. We did not do the spice blow. So we do have a spice blow in. We get 12 spice. Wow. 10, 11, 12 in. Say I'll go east. And the Fremen again will move one, two. To hit that spice so uh, and then we get to the battle phase so we'll get to the battle phase uh, nobody is in com combat at this point so there's no battle phase spice harvest phase the Fremen are able to harvest this spice so they have quite a big harvest of spice however because no battles uh, and no spice harvest we can move into mentat phase and we have the Harkonnens uh, in Arakeen and Carthag and Hiban Yasiech. So uh, I think that's going to be the uh, winner is the Harkonnens. So let's just kind of check this out. Object of the game, each faction has a set of unique economic military conditions. The object of the game is to use the advantage to control Dune. The winner is the first player to occupy at least three strongholds with at least one forces during the Mentat pause phase. We're in the Mentat pause phase, three spaces. Guys, thank you a lot for watching. Um, uh, looking forward to doing that uh, Dune Imperium. You can go check out the gameplay for that. And when we get those miniatures, definitely we'll alert you to it. Please leave your, your uh, links to games that you're playing below. Would love to see your, your group playing Dune. And we're gonna try to get a Dune uh, group of people together for Saturday Night Board Games. Uh, love to do that for you guys. So thanks a lot for uh, letting me walk through this, and we'll see you in the next game. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.